We're going to turn now to Fox News chief political anchor, the anchor special report, Brett Baer, uh, for his key moments of the night. All right, Brett, another eventful night and a lot of time spent for the former vice president in the crosshairs. What stood out to you? Well, I think you're right. Uh, good evening, Shannon. Uh, Joe Biden was under attack for a lot of the time. You know, this started with a, a handshake with Kamala Harris when she came on stage, and he said to her, the microphones were on, go easy on me, kid. Uh, she did not, and really neither did anybody else. There was an exchange with Bill de Blasio where he went after Vice President Biden on deportations under the Obama administration. It finally ended up that uh, the vice president basically said he wasn't going to say what he told President Obama, sort of blaming President Obama for the deportations, even though most other times he claims President Obama and says his name again and again and again to link with him. I had three different moments, Shannon, and I think that someone who had a good night tonight was Cory Booker. Uh, he attacked uh, Vice President Biden a number of different times, but specifically on criminal justice reform and his record. The person that's enjoying this debate most right now is Donald Trump, as we pit Democrats against each other. I was raised by two civil rights parents who told me to always keep your eyes on the prize. Mr. Vice President, you can't have it both ways. You invoke uh, President Obama more than anybody in this campaign. You can't do it when it's convenient right. and then dodge it when it's not. And if you want to compare records, and frankly, I'm shocked that you do, uh, I am happy to do that. Because all of the problems that he is talking about that he created, you're dipping into the Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. Uh, Kool-Aid came out with a tweet saying, uh, we know the flavor. But I think Cory Booker uh, had a really good night, a strong night for him, and was kind of the Joe Biden antagonist. Second moment, uh, Tulsi Gabbard had a strong night on stage. Uh, Kirsten mentioned the attack, essentially, on Kamala Harris's record as AG of California. Uh, but there were other moments where she talked about pulling U.S. troops home. This is not about arbitrary deadlines. This is about leadership, the leadership I will bring to do the right thing, to bring our troops home within the first year in office, because they shouldn't have been there this long. For too long, we've had leaders who have been arbitrating foreign policy from ivory towers in Washington without any idea about the cost and the consequence, the toll that it takes on our service members, we have to do the right thing, end these wasteful regime change wars, and bring our Thank troops you. home. Thank you, Congresswoman. Mr. Yang. You know, last night we saw the battle between the progressives and the more centrist uh, Democrats. I think Senator Michael Bennett from Colorado played the role of John Delaney or Governor Bullock from last night, uh, but had a very impassioned moment and a key moment for him in this debate uh, talking about schools and race. This is the fourth debate that we have had and the second time that we have been debating what people did 50 years ago with busing when our schools are as segregated today as they were 50 years ago. We need a conversation about what's happening now. And when there's a group of kids in this country that don't get preschool through no fault of their own and another group does, equal is not equal. And we've got a group of K-12 schools that are good because families can spend a million bucks and you've got the Detroit public schools that are as segregated as they were, equal is not equal. Education, a big issue for him, ran the school system in Colorado. If Biden, Shannon, falls down, uh, it is possible that someone like uh, Michael Bennett could uh, rise up uh, in a flight for safety for one, one of a centrist or moderate choice. And my final point here is that last night we had the most searched member of the, the stage be Marianne Williamson. I think you're going to see Andrew Yang get a lot of searches uh, tonight. He has a lot of donors already, a lot of attention, but he was concise and focused and personal. And uh, I would expect that he's going to make that third debate stage. Shannon? Yeah, and he and, and he made a plea for that, as they all did tonight. Uh, he's, you know, the one who has talked, of course, about universal in, basic income for everyone and tried to talk about that in the context of Michigan and the automation uh, that's taken away a lot of jobs here and about how he fears that's going to go across all of American industry. Uh, so, yeah, a breakout night for him. Uh, we think Cory Booker and others uh, did well as well, getting some attention. Brett, thank you for being up late with us for special analysis tonight. Good to have you. You bet, Shannon. See you.